All right, and welcome uh, everyone to the podcast. My name is Kevin DeLong with The Various Solutions, and this uh, particular cast, I'm going to show you how to get some information from a locked iOS device, uh, which you see uh, right here. It's the one you're seeing on your screen and the one you're seeing right here. Uh, exactly, and I just noticed Apple has a, uh, a little bug in their software because you'll notice it says 67% charged, and then it up top it says it's 100% charged. Um, yeah, so... Uh, here, I'll do that again. There you go, 67 and 100. So yeah, Apple, just found another little bug for your system as I'm getting ready to do this podcast. Anyway, um, what I'm going to show you is how to get some information out of uh, an iOS device. Oops, and I just unlocked it. I don't want to do that. We want to lock that phone. We want to make sure this phone is indeed locked where we can't uh, get certain things out uh, of here. Um, so what I'm going to do here is make sure it stays locked. And there's a few tricks that you can you can do. Right. So here we have the locked iOS device and you see it here on your screen as well. Let me uh, actually slide this over here and then I'll make my picture larger as well. So you can see everything that uh, everything that I'm doing. I just unlocked it. I can't remember that touch on my thumbprint. I don't have the new one yet. Right. No face yet. Uh, so this is uh, running the latest iOS uh, 11.03, I believe. I'll look once we get into the system a bit. But um, as you know, Notification Center is a huge, huge asset to us, right? Now, normally, we want to take some Faraday precautions, right? Uh, you see the little signal bars there. Um, those are bad, right? If you're doing forensics, any type of digital forensics, uh, the signal bars are bad. <laughs> and with that, there's a few people that wrote some articles. I know um, uh, Sean Morrissey from Katana Forensics wrote an article and I also knew, um, oh gosh, I can't remember his name right off the hand. I apologize uh, instantly. But um, from Notification Center, you'll see here, and it's usually left on. Um, you see right here that you can turn uh, airplane mode on and activate airplane mode. So I'm going to do that. But if you notice, none of my stuff turned off. Okay, there, the cellular network turned off. But that's it. Um, you have to turn them off all individually now to make sure there to make sure that they're all actually off right because what i've done now by default it will turn them all off but i travel on airplanes quite often um, i'm going to turn it back on then i have to go in and turn each individual item on like i just did there um, you have to remember that you know I, I listen to my bluetooth earbuds on the plane so i keep my the flight mode on or airplane mode on but i have to turn my um, Bluetooth on in order to do it. But I can also use Wi-Fi on the plane, so I turn my Wi-Fi on to access it, but I don't need my cellular, so I deactivate that. So it's kind of weird. I don't think it's a bug within iOS. Um, I just think it's a uh, the way it is, unfortunately. So make sure that you keep your network off. And I'm going to uh, actually take my network off because I'm worried about someone may call me during this video. So there we are. Yep, I think... Uh, I think that all did it. Did it or did it? Nope, good. It's still communicating with the, with the computer. That's what I want to do. So we want some information from this device. It's locked. I cannot get into this device. So to show you, I'm going to use my little finger, which I know I don't have programmed into it. Um, and there it goes. I have a passcode or touch ID enabled for this particular device. Uh, and it is indeed locked. So I'm going to cancel this back out. And uh, the first thing that you want to do, now the old notification center in iOS 10 used to be able to drag down from the top. Now you'll get some uh, some small alerts. If I don't keep shutting it off, you'll get some small alerts this way. Like I had a call from an unknown caller 12 minutes ago. Uh, I was part of some Facebook thread, um, keeping track of my mileage for my business there. And then some, uh, some text messages from my bank. Um, so you can see a little bit. And if I had, if I had other ones, um, you'd be able to see those. We'd scroll, but I, I clear mine normally every day. And I, I uh, unfortunately for this sample that I, I left it, uh, I, I cleared it and I forgot that I was going to do this video today. But you can scroll if other notifications came in uh, the other days. Now, keep in mind here with that, nope, not that way, that you can't look at any of these, right? So if I try to go and say, see my messages here from Chase, it's going to want either my passcode or it's going to want um, my fingerprint, which obviously if I've uh, got a suspect's phone in my hand or someone I'm investigating's phone, you, you just can't do that. It's not going to happen. So I'm going to hit cancel there. You can get a little bit of information that way. A place you can really get a lot of information is slide over to notification center. Okay. Uh, this is where you get a ton of stuff if it's there. Now you can see here that you'll see that I have a meeting with secret squirrel. That's just one I created 
uh, for this demo uh, this week. Uh, but you can only see one. Now, let me see if I can show more. Show more. No. Okay, there's nothing more to show. It, it shows the next meeting that I have. You see um, Flipboard, some of the news articles I'm following there on Flipboard. Uh, if my calendar had events that was going to show up, which is not. Any reminders I had set, uh, weather that I have on here, my Dropbox, anything interesting that may be there. Um, some of the news articles I follow. Um, and that's about it. And some wonder list stuff. Now, everyone's is going to be different depending on how they tricked out their widgets here. Um, and I don't remember actually setting these out, but um, you can indeed do it um, and uh, decide what apps you want widget wise there. So always check there as well. All right. Always check there. If you have a locked phone, iPhone and you can't get the data any other way, this is another way to try. Now, again, from here, we can slide down. Now you see here. Now you know some of the apps that I'm using. OK, you know, I have Pragerpedia. I have Facebook on there. I have Ring. I have Reddit on there. It's like, well, is that all the apps we can see? Can we open any of these? Like, can we open Reddit from this? Of course you cannot. It's going to ask you to unlock your phone. But what we can do is type things. So I wonder if this person has LinkedIn. I know I have LinkedIn, but let's start typing LinkedIn there. And as I'm typing, you see on the screen now that LinkedIn appears there. Uh, but you also see Little Star. You also see Lightroom. Uh, and Little Star is a karaoke thing for my kids. And then Dynamic Light, another photo, a photo app. Um, so you can just start typing just about anything to kind of learn what apps. So if you know um, something happened with a particular app, Say you were looking for a messenger app like WhatsApp. Okay, boom, there it is. I just type WH and you see WhatsApp is there. So you know that is installed on this phone because it's coming up um, as uh, an application there. And again, you can just start typing literally just about anything. Uh, there's Twitter, there's Target, there's Translate, there's ThinkGeek, all kinds of different things. So uh, again, let your imagination run wild as you're searching for applications. You can determine what applications are there. And of course, you're going to have to be taking screenshots of this. Old school ways are still sometimes the best ways um, to do this. Um, so those are one of the ways. Um, and those are just a few. Again, I don't want to touch this with my, uh, my finger that will unlock it. But so those are a few ways that you can kind of determine... Uh, information about the phone. Now, Siri, um, I did a couple talks a few years back about Siri being a snitch. <laughs> if if anyone was at HTCIA a few years back and so on and so forth, uh, I did a series on it. I didn't do a video. So here is the video. I'm going to combine this into one. Um, so Siri is, Siri is definitely a snitch um, because she'll tell you a lot of information uh, about this. So I can't access my calls, right? Can't do any of that. But Siri will tell me some key information like this. Hold on. So I'm just going to uh, leave this on here. Again, it's still, still locked, just so you know. And I just go, hey, Siri, who called me last? You'll need to connect to the Internet first. So apparently Siri needs Internet. So we will turn them all back on. This is dangerous, by the way, if you're going to do this. Uh, it could issue a wipe command to this phone. Um, so keep that in mind. There is some risk to this. Hey, Siri. Who called me last? You have one missed call from unknown at 12.26 p.m. Okay. You'll so, need to unlock your iPhone to see the rest. Okay. She used to show you up to five, and I don't think she does that anymore. Um, but so what we can find is we can say, hey, Siri. Who did I call last? You have one call to Nicole DeLong at 7.35 a.m. You'll need to unlock your iPhone to see the rest. Okay, so I called my wife um, this morning early, and uh, so we know that. Before, we didn't have that information. Or it was Nicole DeLong. You may not know. You may think it's maybe my sister or something like that, but that happens to be my wife. Um, so we can ask other things. Um, hey, Siri. What are my appointments this week? You have 12 appointments between tomorrow and next Sunday. That's a lot. On Monday at noon, meeting with secret. So um, what we can do is just go through and, and look at all of these, right? And, uh, and see what they are. If you remember in the notification center that um, she would only show us the last, that one next item, right? Now, this one, we see we have a lot more stuff going on there, and you can see my whole week. Let's ask her the month just for giggles. Hey, Siri. 
What does my month schedule look like? You have at least 25 appointments for this month. <laughs> okay. That's a lot. Yeah, it is a lot. On Wednesday. Stop reading one... it. I don't care about reading it. So you can really see a lot of the different meetings that I have and things going on there. Uh, that's, that's a lot of stuff that's happening, right? Um, so again, we can gain some more information. Um, so we can find out maybe whose phone it is, right? We can go, hey, Siri. Who am I? You're asking me, Kevin? Yeah. Um, okay. There we go. I'm trying to hold it close to the microphone so you can still hear her responses, but obviously you can see them there on the screen as well. Um, so there we got, we, we have that one. Now, Apple did increase some of the security on the device. I used to be able to ask who my wife, who my mother-in-law, which I had in my device uh, at that time, but now here's the response that you get. Hey, Siri. Who's my wife? You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Yeah, nah, and there seems to be a bug going on there. There it is. It's back. I don't know if it's the, the link to QuickTime that's causing it or the actual phone. I'll have to do some tests after this to, to determine it. But anyway, so, you know, you, ha you have that, right? Um, but here's what you can do. Um, so we know Siri will recognize things like wife, uh, mother-in-law, brother, sister, father, mother, so on and so forth, all that stuff. So let's try some things with this. Let's go and say... Um, let me see here. Hey, Siri. Read the message from my mother-in-law. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Okay, so she won't do that. Let's try something else. Um, we know she'll we'll do this. So here's how we can find out some information. All right? So they fixed her quite a bit from my last presentation. But here are some things that you can do. Watch this. These I know work. Hey, Siri. Call my wife. So now you know that you can determine who people are, right? And if you know they have certain contacts in their phone, um, you, it doesn't give you the contact name anymore, but you can still guess, right? So we can say, um, hey, Siri, call my mother-in-law. Calling Brenda Landers. So hopefully I can end this. Yeah, there you go. So it will start dialing uh, various numbers throughout that. Hey, Siri, what's my phone number? You'll need to unlock your iPhone okay. first. Okay, they've really increased a lot of security on there. But for the most part, if you just keep asking Siri some questions, um, she'll eventually uh, answer some of them. And a lot of them you have to reword. So one of the other things is that if... If notification center isn't on, right, and you can't get to airplane mode, obviously Siri's only going to work with connection to the network. Um, so that is a danger. Again, I've said it once. I want to really, really enforce this. But if cellular data was turned off when you got the phone and the phone is locked or the phone is locked and you can't, you don't have Faraday stuff with you and you need to get it into a state where you can get it uh, airplane mode on, Here's a way you can do it. I don't know if it's a bug with Apple because you can't access airplane mode any other way. Uh, watch this. Let me ask a question here. Hey, Siri, turn on airplane mode. You'll need to unlock your iPhone first. Okay, so she wants us to unlock our iPhone before we do airplane mode. Uh, okay. Or we can just do this. Hey, Siri, cellular data. Cellular data is on. Let me know if you want to turn it off. So we can turn the cellular data off here um, from this point. So let's go ahead and turn cellular data off. There we go. It's off. Normally, you don't have access uh, to that. So let's see if it actually is in airplane mode now. So I'm going to flip this up. So there you go. You see the uh, it's not in airplane mode, but the cellular uh, signal is, is indeed off there. So if you still don't have access to it, um, hey, Siri, Wi-Fi network. Wi-Fi is on. Let me know if you want to turn it off. So there, you can just start turning various things off if you don't have access to Notification Center. Uh, so just be aware. Hey Siri. Bluetooth. Bluetooth is on. 
Let me know if you want to turn it off. Okay, so normally these things aren't accessible, uh, but you just ask Siri and she'll make them obviously very accessible to you. So that's just about it. Again, Siri is going to uh, be a huge resource to you um, if you need to get inside of a locked iPhone or you need to get some information from iOS if it's locked uh, and you're conducting an investigation. Uh, obviously, um, with the new iOS, there's no way in that we're aware of currently, but with these different techniques, uh, it may help you out. It may not. Just be careful because, again, it has to be on the network with Siri. Uh, I don't know if there's a way to spoof her or not. Maybe sometime I'll, I'll try that, but I'm pretty sure she needs, to, she needs to call home to get these questions answered when you ask for them. So other than that, uh, thanks for watching. I appreciate it.